We'll start with questions in English, followed by questions in Spanish. First question will go to Nikki Kay from Nikki, or Spectrum Sportsnet. Go ahead, Nikki. Hi, Sebastian. Welcome back. Uh, just wanted to hear about your time with the national team and how you're feeling kind of mentally and physically as you're about to prepare for the gauntlet. You know, Greg just was talking about the dog days of MLS summers being ahead. So how do you make such a quick pivot? Yeah, no, it's obviously an amazing, amazing trip uh, with the national team, you know, from, from the start of it to the finish. Um, you know, a lot of lessons learned and, you know, to, to get my, my first trophy on the uh, international level was was definitely an accomplishment that, uh, you know, I'll, um, I'll cherish. Um, and then now, yeah, like you said, pivoting to, to a, to a tough stage, you know, I mean, I, I, I've done, I've done this a couple times now and yeah, the summer is always one of the toughest, you know, uh, traveling away to places that where it's going to be hot and, and playing against good teams. El clima so. es cálido. Punto oh. y <laughs> Sorry, good? I think someone was unmuted. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Um, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, yeah, um, you know, facing good teams like we are um, this weekend, you know, it's going to be tough. It's going to, I think it's going to be our first three games in a week. So it's, you know, we uh, definitely had to come back and, 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 and kind of switch on uh, right away because if you don't, you know, you, you, you can get caught slipping. So, um, but no, I'm, I'm, I accepted the challenge and, and I'm ready. I'm ready to go again. And you've talked about making this transition a couple of times before, but was there something different about returning to play with this locker room and this group of guys that maybe you were looking forward to a little bit more or you felt maybe energy and vibe wise was a little bit more positive? Yeah, no, for sure. I think as soon as like, you know, as soon as my my time with uh, with the national team was done, it was it wasn't like oh I got to go back and and you know I was kind of like all right let's like like let's go like I'm ready to go again. I'm I'm, I'm full of energy and and uh, and especially with this type of locker room and and this type of staff, you know, this year. I, I mean, as we've shown, I know it's still only the beginning, but it's it's been a completely different en um, energy around here. So um, I've been loving it. So yeah, as soon as I got back, I was I was really excited. Wonderful. Thanks, Sebastian. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks, Nikki. We'll go with Damian Calhoun from LA Daily News next. Damian, go ahead. Hey, Sebastian, how are you doing? Hey, Damian, what's up, man? Good. Um, wait, okay, I'm good. Hey, just want to get your, your thoughts on um, first home game, capacity crowd, and Greg said he expect he expect guys to be you know just ready to go at the start of the game. What kind of emotions you think you have um, at kickoff? Oh, I think it's going to be awesome. I mean, I, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Like, it's going to be full capacity. It's you know having everybody in there. I mean, I think it's going to be a sellout crowd. Uh, you know, I'm sure everybody's excited just to be all together again and and uh, and feel that energy. I think we're gonna. It's going to be contagious. I think as soon as we step out on the field, warm ups, or you know, I, th I think we're definitely going to feel it. And uh, yeah, it's just an exciting time, right? I mean, everybody's had a really struggling year and a half uh, as far as COVID. So kind of getting over that hump. Um, you know, and, and and hopefully we can give our fans a win. And also, as you prepare for this grind, um, and also with Gold Cup coming up, how do you yeah. sort of prepare, get yourself prepared mentally and physically for you know? Good, I mean, we expect to be a very busy June and July for you, for you, um, for you. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Uh, it's gonna be physically taxing for sure. Um, but I think just taking it one step at a time, like it's the only real way, or. Um, efficient way of of uh, of getting through it you know so just weekend by weekend you know i know this is going to be a tough weekend itself but just kind of breaking things day by day um and just not you know that's how you don't get uh, too overwhelmed with it so well, whenever that gold cup comes or or whenever that you know we'll, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there but um for now you know it's, it's just seattle on saturday so All right, thanks. thanks we'll go with larry morgan with corner of the galaxy larry go ahead Hi, Sebastian. Thanks for speaking with us. I'd like to add on to what Damien asked you about, about the national team and what is shaping up to be an extremely busy year for you with the Galaxy and the national team. Is is there, is there any concern in your part about the toll it might take on you physically and mentally with all these matches that you potentially could? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's never going to be easy, right? Um, I think going into this year, uh, you know, it's, 
uh, I think I focus more on the like a, a exciting part of it. There's like so many big games, so many things, brand new staff here. Uh, you know, a lot of big games come up with the national team. It's, but yeah, of course it's going to be physically, but I, I uh, uh, taxing, but I think it's up to me to take care of myself and, and do everything I can physically to, and mentally to, to kind of just be in a good place for, for, for both. And like, like I said, just kind of compartmentalizing and, and, and taking things in, um, you know, in, in my stride and just b breaking things up and just not getting so overwhelmed with it because it's going to be a lot, but just got to just gotta take it day by day. And if you do play in all these matches, have you tried to estimate how many miles you might be traveling this year? <laughs> that's a good one. I hope I get the miles for them because that, that'll be <laughs> – I mean, I know we're, we're, we travel private for, for most of them, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy. Right. But this is, this is what it's all about. You know, you, you want to be in as many games as possible as a, as a professional and, and, you know, so I'm excited about it more than anything. Thank you very much. Thanks. Ahora vamos con las preguntas en español. Empezamos con Diana Alvarado de Univision. Diana, adelante. Gracias, Gaby. Eh, Sebastián, un gusto saludarte. Felicitaciones por el título de la Liga de Naciones. Eh, con Javier Chicharito Hernández ahí, ¿qué tan peligroso va a ser el tricolor si se lo encontraran y si Chicharito quedara en la lista final del tricolor mexicano? Sí, no, bueno, ha, ha empezado la, la temporada muy bien. Estoy muy feliz por él. Uh, sabemos que es, un, que es un gran jugador, un gran número 9 y, y lo está mostrando para, para este club. Um, y bueno, ojalá que lo, que lo llame, ¿no? Que para mí se lo merece. Um, entonces, bueno, él, él, él ha mostrado en los años, creo que es el más el que más el goleador de, de México. Entonces, a ver si, si, el, si el Tata lo, lo llama, pero bueno, ese no, no, no es mi trabajo, uh, suerte, pero um, ahí vemos, ahí vemos. Bueno, por supuesto te gustaría enfrentarle, ¿no? A mí me encanta enfrentar a... Bueno, a, 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 casi enfrenté en, en contra a Jonah, pero, pe, pero no jugué ese, ese partido por, por lesión. Pero sí, a mí me encanta, a mí me encanta. Ojalá que esté ahí, ojalá. Y una final también. <risa> claro, y finalmente, ¿qué significa volver a reencontrarse con esa afición, con un estadio totalmente lleno, a pesar de que todavía estamos en la pandemia? Sí, no, yo lo más, eh, realmente es un, eh, va a estar muy lindo, muy, muy emocional ver todos unidos de nuevo. Uh, sabemos que es un, un, un año y medio muy difícil para muchos y, y para el club y, y para la familia del Galaxy. Entonces uh, va, va, a, va a ser muy lindo jugar en, en frente de la afición de nuevo. Suerte, gracias. Gracias. Gracias, Diana. Vamos con Salvador Pérez. Salvador, adelante. Muchísimas gracias, Vicky. Sebastián, ¿cómo estás? Qué gusto saludarte. Salvador. Igual. Ah, qué gusto verte. Oye, Sebastián, eh, yo quisiera hacerte eh, dos preguntas, si me permites. Eh, la primera, ¿hoy cómo, hoy cómo se sienten en, en LA Galaxy en el sentido de los diferentes cambios que ha habido y que los han llevado a estar en los primeros lugares? ¿Hoy cómo se han sentido eh, con el tema de Greg Bunny, eh, con el tema de esa mejoría que ha tenido Javier? Hoy, ¿cómo se han sentido? Y la segunda, eh, después de lo que fue el título de Liga de Naciones de la CONCACAF, de la Liga de Naciones de la CONCACAF, que ganan de México, hoy, ¿cómo cambia esa rivalidad con México? Y si hay un, una superioridad, si se sienten mejor que el tri a nivel selección, de cara a lo que hace el Copa Oro. Gracias, Sebastián. Uh, eh, eh, uh, bueno, voy a empezar con la segunda. Um, bueno, sabemos que sí, ganamos un partido muy difícil, una, una final, levantamos una copa, estoy muy feliz por eso, pero sabemos que, que, que México es un, es un gran equipo, tiene un gran técnico, uh, juegan muy bien, tienen mucha experiencia. Nosotros, más que nada, somos, son, sí, somos jóvenes y hay, hay muchos jóvenes en, en el... En el Uh, en nuestro equipo, entonces es difícil decir que somos, ya somos mejores, eh, era, un, era un partido muy cerca, se ganó entre los penales realmente, uh, cada uno tuvo su, su oportunidad y bueno, uh, es, fue uno de esos partidos, entonces no, no creo que es decisivo decir que somos mejores todavía, yo creo que los faltamos un, un poco, pero... Pero, pero vamos a tener más oportunidades para mostrar. Y eso, eso para mí es lo más importante. Que, y, 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 y con más partidos vamos a ganar más experiencia todavía. Uh, y perdóname si me olvidé la, 
primer te pregunta. preguntaba te preguntaba de, del tema de LA Galaxy del tema del tema deportivo que hoy están eh, en los primeros puestos que mm. tanto ha cambiado en ese sentido con el tema de Greg con el tema de esa mejoría que ha tenido Javier con sí. el nivel que han mostrado ah sí no bueno sí es di diferente que el año pasado no es o los años uh, que, que han pasado. Es, es una nueva energía acá y yo sé que, que muchos jugadores, por, por ahí vos, ustedes han escuchado eso mucho, pero es, es la realidad, que realmente se siente muy bien en este club ahora, uh, los entrenamientos, hasta, hasta todo. Realmente la, los técnicos, me, me encantan todo ahora. Y que, bueno, cuando regresé de, de la selección era... No era como, ah, tengo que regresar, era como, yo no, no puedo esperar, ahora quiero regresar y empezar a jugar de nuevo. Entonces, um, es, un, es, un, es diferente. Y bueno, el, el tema de, de Chicha está jugando muy bien, estoy muy feliz por él. Uh, tiene una calidad increíble en frente de gol y, y lo está mostrando. Sebi, muchas gracias por tu tiempo. Thank you, gracias.